Right, champion. So I did something crazy and traced this thing out, as well as did a flow chart of what a 2203 is, what VL 1002 is, which is what I think this builder was leaning towards. Thing known as Lee Jackson mod, which is basically um, associated with the frequency select switch on some Ampeg models, uh, labeled in this case as the mid voice, which has now been removed, but we're just trying to figure out what what the original goal may have been. Fool's errand, perhaps. All right, so here's the schematic uh, of what was in the amp as it came in. Simplified a bit, but uh, we go from the input down to the phase inverter. So here's a flow chart of the 2203, simplified heavily. Flow chart of the Ampeg VL1002, which is just one of the amps I've seen in person, which has uh, this mid-voice uh, selection switch. And the WTF amp as it came in. So here's the schematic of the amp as it came in, uh, 47k grid stop up, single input jack, 220k plate load, 1 nanofarad uh, silver micro across that. Maybe they were having stability issues, oscillation, that kind of thing. The cathode's your typical Marshall input stage, 2.7k and uh, 0.68 microfarad. 2.2 nanofarad coupler on the output of the first stage. That would uh, severely limit the bottom end coming from that first stage. I'd have to do the calcs, but um, but that would have a pretty high cutoff. It could have been an error. Maybe they were going reaching for a 22 nano, as is typical through pretty much all throughout most Marshall uh, topologies. They might have accidentally picked up a 2.2, but that was that uh, Sozo cap that was in there. So we've removed that and replaced that with a 22 nano. Well, we've changed everything, but anyway. Next, we move on to the uh, gain pot. <clears throat> And it's got some uh, possible uh, taper tweaking here, changing the taper of that that pot slightly. Uh, maybe that was just a mistake, and it was supposed to be over here as an attenuator, because this here isn't typically an attenuator. It does change the taper of the pot, and it does change the overall level, but it's not a voltage divider. But we'll go into that shortly. You've got a 500 pico bright cap there. You see this in Marshalls all the time, um, but usually it's the other way around. You've got the resistor over here, and you've got a bright cap and then an attenuator. Moving on, we've got a standard uh, gain stage, A20 uh, ohm, and then we've got the cathode follow-up with your typical 100K down there. Over here, you've got your mid-voice switch, and it's the six-way switch. On some Ampegs, it's the five-way. Normally, this is a 10 meg to ground here. I believe that is to stop popping when you're changing the switch however to properly stop popping you'd probably want a 10 meg on every every single one of these contacts to ground doesn't affect the signal really but um just make sure that these caps have a voltage reference so when you switch to them there's not some under not undefined voltage and you get a pop every time you switch however they've put two in parallel 8.2 megs to a total of 4.1 meg uh, again i don't know if that was intentional or not so you've got point A and point B. I ran out of page there. But down here, basically that whole setup is uh, where you'd normally find your uh, your treble cap there, which would be a 250 or 220 or 470 or whatever Pico. And then you've got a pretty typical tone stack below that, coming out to a 220K grid stopper. And then you've got another gain stage. Now, this is the reason that that, gain structure was all over the place because now you've got this massive boost in gain after the tone stack and then feeding the uh, metro effects loop to the phase inverter now at the phase inverter oh i didn't write down a cap value there but i'm pretty sure that was 22 nano um you've got a pretty typical setup again they've got a preset pretty similar to what i do a preset um depth control like a resonance Adds a bit of bottom end in the output stage and your typical, um, well, actually had a 0.68 nano presence cap here. So I've left that in just to see what it sounds like. Uh, but we can always go to the, did I say 68 nano? 680 nano, or we can go to the uh, 100 nano, which is typical or the you know, 0.1 of a microfarad. Orders of magnitude champions. It's uh, very easy to trip up on them. So the output, we've got 2.1 microfarad, 100 nano, uh, nano, 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 nano. Output uh, caps, coupling caps. So that's like more fender values than uh, the 22 nano, which is typical on um, Marshalls, all except the, the base heads anyway. And the 47 Pico snubber there across the um, 
the two outputs. So again, that was factory. Um, sorry, someone's just doing a burnout out the front. <laughs> and then to the output stage. I feel a bit like Uncle Doug here, minus the wisdom. Uh, doing the sketches, I mean. So you got uh, the WTF Frankenfuck. That's this one. This is the very simplified topology. So you've got a gain stage, coupling cap, volume, not a voltage divider. That's what we discussed before. Another gain stage, a cathode follow-up, DC coupled. And that's our tone snacks down the bottom. And the mid-voice switch, which is basically the treble cap with um, these are the values that were the options on the switch as it came in. Then that extra gain stage. And then your master volume to effects loop and phase inverter. So that's the topology as it came in. Now your 2203, the typical Marshall and what we're going back to, uh, you've got a gain stage. Um, when you plug into the low input, it bypasses that gain stage, goes to straight to the cold, clip, cold clipper stage. Um, after the gain stage, you've got a, this is in the high gain mode, you've got a adjustable attenuator, essentially preamp volume. You've got your cold clipper stage, coupling cap, you've got an attenuator, fixed attenuator, just two resistors there and a voltage divider uh, configuration. Another gain stage, DC coupled cathode follower, then your tone snacks, then your master volume to phase inverter. In the Ampeg uh, VL1002, this I just chose this amp because it's the one that I have seen and I'm, I'm familiar with it. You've got a gain stage coupling cap that splits off to channel one because it's a channel switching amp. Uh, we're looking at the overdrive channel here. Then you've got a preamp volume, which is essentially a uh, adjustable attenuator. You've got a gain stage and you've got a adjustable attenuator again, but you can think of these as end stop resistors. So when you turn the gain down all the way, you've still got this resistor there. So you can't turn the gain down to the point where there's no signal at all. And you see this on a lot of overdrive pedals. So when your gain's all the way down, it's just sort of clean, like unity gain or whatever. Uh, and then when you crank it up, that's when your overdrive starts happening. And then there's another resistor at the other end to uh, sort of put a put a lid on the amount of amount of gain that you can get out of that stage and therefore the amount of uh, saturation into the cold clipper and beyond. Uh, I think coupling cap, we've got another gain stage and then your typical uh, cathode follower set up there, DC coupled. And then you've got the mid voice switch. Now this had uh, five different selections and that's the values there ranging from 33 nanofarad to 220 picofarad and your tone stack down there, which I've simplified your master volume, and then off to your phase inverter. So when I talk about uh, attenuators, they're just voltage dividers. Here's a super simplified one with uh, very simple values, so you can uh, figure it out in your brain. One volt in, let's just say peak to peak, whatever. One ohm there, one ohm there, you'll get half a volt out. If that's 10 ohm there, 10 ohm there, you get half a volt out. If that's a million ohms there, a million ohms there, you get half a volt out. If those values are equal, it divides the voltage by two. It halves it. Add pot and smoke it too. Uh, Still a voltage divider, now it's adjustable. So if this pot's in its midway position and it's a linear pot, just for argument's sake, that's not what you'd find in an amp, or well, not a great amp anyway. Um, and you've got one ohm there, one ohm there, and that's a one ohm pot, and it's halfway, uh, you get half a volt out. Now if you turn this all the way up, now you have essentially, back to this one, you have two ohms there and one ohm there. So you are still getting less than what you put in, but like two thirds of what you put in. Now, if you turn this pot all the way down, now you've got two ohms there, one ohm there. So imagine that's two ohms, that's one ohm. Now you get like one third of what you put in on the output. So again, ignore the values here. This is just for, for simplicity and explaining how it works. Um, but up here, I've got a feeling that that resistor is supposed to be over there and that was supposed to be an attenuator stage. But who knows? Who bloody knows champions anyway carrying on i just thought that might be a bit interesting for you and uh to practice my schematic drawing skills because if you don't use it you lose it <laughs>